<laughs> but uh, <laughs> he's leading the polls right now. <laughs> he, I don't know if he's won Iowa, but he's winning the polls. <laughs> I love the Marvin chuckle. He's generally a rather dry interview and certainly ready for training camp, though. We caught him in rare form this afternoon before this team's first practice. And as the calendar turns to August within the hour, it means one thing. Football is back. The Bengals open training camp this afternoon, and James Ryder explains why it's not the same old Andy Dalton. Yeah, Eric, it's a new year, but the same questions still persist for the Bengals. And, of course, that's will they win in the playoffs? And it all starts with quarterback Andy Dalton, who by all accounts is as confident as ever entering his second year under offensive coordinator Hugh Jackson. I think Andy has grown, uh, you know, by leaps and bounds. And uh, I think Hugh has been great for Andy because Hugh has really pushed Andy um, to do more. I have a better understanding of everything that we're trying to do. And so it's getting everybody to have that same understanding. And uh, you know, when it's not right, it's making sure everything gets corrected and uh, we're, we're on the same page. And it's that familiarity that's helped Dalton grow into an even bigger leadership role this year. Being a little more vocal and uh, you know, making it be uh, things be heard. Because if a receiver runs something short, it messes up the timing. He's not going to catch the ball. There's no, we're not going to be able to get the full... Um, you know, full potential of a play, or if it's a blocking assignment, making just making sure everybody's doing the right thing, pushing guys to be the best that they can be. Whitworth is cutting his ties uh, to allow Andy to keep going, as Whit would say. You know, he's he's passed the baton to Andy, and uh, you know he, he's happy to give it up, and, and that's a good thing. Of course, we know Andy Dalton will be the team's starting quarterback for the foreseeable future. But one of the great things about training camp is guys actually trying to make the team, but also earning more playing time. One of those guys actually happens to be one of the Bengals' most popular players, Eric. James, that guy is Devin Still. He's obviously not the most popular player because of what he's done on the field. Instead, it's been all about all the good he's done off of it for his daughter Leah and her battle against cancer. But Still's a man on a mission between the lines this year. He shed 20 pounds in the offseason and has gained a ton of muscle. I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. Like I said, I'm inspired. My daughter's battle with cancer has given me a stronger why than I've ever had in my life. Like I said, I'm just looking forward to going out there and showing the coaches what I'm about. I spent last year showing everybody the type of father I was and the type of person I am. I was, and now it's time to show everybody what type of football player I am. 